Hey what is up you guys, it is Dragonfly Todd coming at you with a brand new identity video and if you guys did not actually catch the stream they did show off a couple things including this right here which is a couple of different assets including furniture, tables, chairs and uh, other stuff like that and they do talk about that in the stream so if you, go, if you guys want to go watch these stream videos you can go watch them in their entirety on the identity RPG twitch channel also they did confirm in another stream that there will be a variety of police uniforms so they did not say re uh, re whether or not like there's gonna be uh, let's say a different uh, uniform for every station but they did confirm that there will be SWAT sheriff and police uniforms maybe a regular police uniform for cops that are in the city and then a sheriff uniform for more of the country or rural area cop they did also confirm that there will be a rural era area video will be shown uh, soon, maybe before the SWAT and uh, gun stuff video. So expect a couple new videos from Identity to be coming out before the Town Square module. I think that I read somewhere that somebody said that the Identity module will come out in two weeks, but that is highly unlikely because we haven't seen any of the videos yet, and I would expect that it will be out in the next couple of months. And then going into the kind of topic of the video, is Identity better at marketing or are they are they talking to us more? And the answer to that is yes. So whenever I first started, you know, actually following this project, the Identity developers were pretty, uh, I'd say, active in the Discord, but they still weren't as active as I'd like them to be because we had to wait at least three or four months in between uh, the different you know the different developer blogs and they did say that they are do going to do those monthly so I will be going over the next developer blog that will be coming out at the end of the month or whenever it does come out also guys identity has started twitch streaming and it's kinda like it really is kinda like a Q&A because if you guys want to go on there and you can ask different questions and you don't have to worry about me the dynasty or power gaming getting another Q&A because you guys can go on there and ask questions yourself it doesn't matter how stupid the questions are, I saw a guy and he was asking about all this random stuff and uh, you know, if you could throw food at people and uh, I mean the devs might not answer you because there will be a ton of different people in these streams but I definitely suggest that you go try to catch these streams. They will be happen happening at 4pm whatever uh, Canada's time is. I think it's Eastern time but I don't know. I, I really don't. I, I don't even know my months guys. I don't know my months. But it comes to the question, is identity good or bad at marketing? And at, put those all things aside, let's just go for the bad. Um, they they did, they had some problems, right? They they made a couple of release date uh, kind of estim estimations and that really threw people off because people, they thought that the, the game would be out a lot quicker than it actually has been. Because the game is still not out, it was supposed to come out first quarter and we're almost either in or out of the second quarter of the year and we're almost halfway through guys and we haven't seen the identity module yet and as you know it's a module and I'm sure people they won't really care if it's extremely polished let's just go back to what I played recently with a uh, Starman's Edge or whatever it is exactly I can't even remember the name anymore I played the uh, pre pre alpha game like that you get off of the WinRAR file and it sucked guys they really really should not have put that out it was unplayable and I th I am pretty sure that uh, the module is playable at the moment because a couple of youtubers or well I'm not gonna say who they are a couple of people have said that they played it but they are related to Motown so in that stance yes the game could be playable but there's a reason that they're not releasing it right now they want to get paid as much as we do and imagine the amount of support they're gonna get whenever this uh, this module comes out there's got to be a reason. There's something wrong with the servers. There's uh, there's the polishing issues. Uh, it's taken way too long to load into the game. There's something wrong, and they can't tell us what it is right now. And also, kind of a bad thing, but it's not extremely a big. Well, it is kind of a big problem actually. They have an extremely small team, and they said that they do want to uh, actually double the ten people on their developing team. But it is a bunch of different freelance artists, which have worked on other games and different game art. But then again, some of these AAA companies have 15 people to work on two assets. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's an indie game, but it is an extremely ambitious indie game. 
and if you guys if you guys are not willing to wait then don't buy the game because this is going to be a journey and who knows we might see the beta come out three years from now you can't ever tell with a game at this size how how fast it's going to come out and it's really hard to put a timestamp on these type of things so if you guys are not willing to wait or you think it's a scam then i suggest that you don't buy the game until it comes out I'm going to continue to support the game because I really I really believe that this is not a scam. I've talked to the developers, they've been really nice and they have answered my questions to the best of their abilities and uh, they, they're doing streams now guys so you can get on there and you can talk to them yourself about your fears of it being a scam and um, yeah I think that's going to be concluding this video. Uh, a lot of people do think it's a scam and there's there's so like there's an uproar in the discord and the community right now because there are different people that are like hey where's the video where's the module but honestly if the developers are if you guys are watching this don't rush the game we don't need it to come out uh, at the crack of the dawn uh, like New Year's Day we, we I could take it if it, if the module doesn't come out until next year um, you know you guys just do what you do and do it well and give us a good game give us a good end product and uh, people are not gonna care I don't want this to flop like No Man's Sky even though I can't really compare it to No Man's Sky at all uh, I don't want this to flop in that stance you guys need to polish your game and even if it's just a module you guys need to take as long as you need to take on it and uh, if you guys do want to see another identity video make sure you go ahead and dr drop a like leave a subscription and comment for more also go ahead and follow me on Twitter guys I'm gonna start streaming on twitch as soon as I figure out these bitrate settings and how to you know fix my my uh, Hitler infested Wi-Fi so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video I hope all you guys enjoyed it and also if you want to play player unknowns with me go ahead and put down in the comments I'll play with anybody on here I'll play with anybody ask Arad he was a subscriber and uh, you know Arrow Cohen and Nijan Smith which is uh, identity videos for you he's another youtuber yeah just a little shout out there you go buddy and also Arad five 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 thousand I think fifty five thousand I love all you guys and uh, also you know Jalen Clyde I love you too man played some pub with him yeah um, See you in the next video, guys.